What is going on, guys? Jordan and I'm pretty guys. Another Mono Warfare 3 mob into this. We a little kill confirm match on a map dome using the PP90 with the silencer and the max attachments. And guys, gameplay is pretty good. It's not like the best mob ever. It's not the worst mob ever. It's just a quick little gameplay that I got a long time ago. I believe it's like a four minute mob, so it's not the fastest, but uh, this is a mob that I got a long time ago, and uh, that's basically what my channel is about. You know, Mono Warfare 3 mobs, and you know, I gotta keep it, you know, fresh with the daily uploads and stuff. So, hope you guys enjoy this one in the background uh, I'm not gonna really talk about the gameplay that much because it's nothing really that special so let me get on with the main topic of today which is going to be the Call of Duty life cycle and yes guys it's a pretty broad topic that everybody likes to talk about in their own separate opinions and have their own separate thoughts and opinions about just because well Call of Duty is a huge franchise, and everybody knows that by now, and that every year a game tries to beat it out, but it never does, because Call of Duty every year keeps on growing and growing and growing, and it probably will never stop growing until, like, games go, like, become extinct, like TV is going to one day, but, uh, you know, whatever, uh, you know, Call of Duty every year has the same life cycle and I'm just gonna break it down for you guys on what I think about this or how it goes for me basically when every Call of Duty comes out so basically when you get the new Call of Duty on the first day like say when you guys got Mono Warfare 3 on the first day on November 8th 2011 you thought this game was probably one of the best games ever I mean I thought it was one of the best games ever because nobody found a class that was overpowered yet nobody used the death streaks like they do now nobody ever used like anything that really just made the game BS I mean EMPs went out there stealth bombers went out there the UAVs were there that's the only thing UAVs and assassin were the only things that were like a problem like in the first couple weeks of the game I could deal with that because we dealt with ghosts and uh, black ops but you know that was the only thing and I like you know what this game could be one of the best games ever and then after the first month of playing Mono for 3 you realize that this game is probably better than the last Call of Duty I think I said or my words were I probably said this that this game is better than black ops or somewhere near there because Mono for three with the mob it kind of saved the game but you know it's kind of fun to go for unlike black ops where it had like you know attack dogs chopper gunner blackbird you know the staple kill streak setup for getting good gameplays in black ops uh you know you had something to go for in Mono for three and you know adding in the specialist the supports and the assault really gave you options on what you want to do with your time in Mono for three i mean you can spend one month going for mobs one month going for assault gameplays and one month you know helping out your favorite person on psn or xbox live we're trying to get mobs like you know my friends do for me right now with supports so you know, after the first month, I thought this game was better than Black Ops. And then now you get in the crucial stage, you know, halfway through the game's life cycle, four to six months. You start realizing that this game is BS and that there's a lot of BS in this game. And that, you know, you start to hate this game because of all the people who are abusing the BS, like Stealth Bombers, the MPs, Dead Man Sand, all that stuff. And you start realizing that this game is BS. And that's what I started. I stopped playing it after four months. And then I, like, got back on it in, like, you know, six months. So... You know, I thought this game was BS, and then now 7 to 10 months, when you're just looking forward to the next Call of Duty to come out, and you just think that this game, or the newest Call of Duty that's out right now, like Mono for 3, is one of the worst Call of Duties ever to be made ever. I mean, I've heard this all around YouTube, that people are quitting Mono for 3 because they've reached, like, BS limits and everything like that. I mean, I've almost reached the BS limit, but I realized that Mono for 3 is still relevant on YouTube until Black Ops 2 comes out, that I got pushed myself to get more gameplays for you guys. But, uh, you know, everybody starts thinking about the new Call of Duty and stuff like that, and it just becomes boring, and people don't want to play it, and they just wonder when the next one is coming out. And, guys, to be honest, this life cycle continues each and every year and repeats itself and repeats itself. I bet it's going to repeat itself in Black Ops 2. So, anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please hit the like rating if you didn't enjoy. Leave a comment if you guys think that this life cycle is something that happens to you. And, uh, guys, please subscribe if you haven't already, and I really... You appreciate it. Anyways, I'll see you guys later. I'm Saints, and I'm out.